Hello and welcome to our channel. Now in this video will tell you how the cars of 1957 wagon train has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1957 and now in 2022 how they changed compared to when they joined this TV series. Alright, let's go! Terry Wilson in the TV series, he plays Bill Hawks one of the two regular characters that spanned the entire series. In 1957, he was 34 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on March 30, 1999 at the age of 75. Father would say it was alright if Rusty endangered other people's lives or their property. Well, no, he wouldn't, but still it isn't fair. Don't you think he'd say you were responsible if Rusty hurt somebody? Well, I got something here that might help. I got a clipping about steel that he's claiming a reward for arresting an old moonshiner by the name of... Wilkinson. Now, Wilkinson claims that his home address is Hazard County. Frank McGrath in the TV series, he plays Charlie Wooster, one of the only full-time employees to last the entire series. He was 54 years old in 1957 and sadly passed away on May 13, 1967 at the age of 64 of a heart attack in Beverly Hills. He didn't say nothing like that. Well, no, not yet, but he might. Don't you worry, Mr. Hershey. Now that you've told me how it is, I will see that you and Herman have no problem in keeping up. I know. I've been at it for years around here. Now, you never told us how come you ain't got anything yet. Well, that's on account of some people are supposed to get their reward early and, and some of them get it late. John McIntyre, in the TV series, he plays Christopher Hell. In 1959, he was 52 years old. And it was with great sadness that McIntyre died on January 30, 1991 at the age of 83 from emphysema and lung cancer. I had a son once myself, Bill. So I know how attached a man can get to a young lad who's just beginning to try the seven-league boots of manhood. This calls for acceleration, horse, and the drinks are on me. We'll be back directly, Eddie. I don't want you doing any heavy lifting while we're gone. Just leave everything where it is. I'll straighten it up when I get back. Robert Horton in the TV series, he plays Flynn McCullough. In 1957, he was 33 years old, and it was with great sadness that Horton passed away of natural causes on March 9, 2016, at the age of 91. With the result that thousands of lives have been saved, but I think it's best if Miss Albright speak for herself. Oh, well, you're on your own. For what it's worth, good luck. Every now and then you have an opportunity of working in a show that, um, where everything so comes together that it's an enormous privilege and, and pleasure for you to have been associated with it, and I just was associated with a... Danny Miller, in the TV series, he plays Duke Shannon. He was 27 years old in 1961 and sadly passed away in Las Vegas on September 9, 2014, at the age of 80. Well, surely he left somebody in charge. Yes. Would you like to talk to him? I guess I'll have to. Well, there comes a the fellow over here right now. With a family from New York, and I learned how to shoot two-handed. There was nobody west of the Mississippi River that shot two-handed. They all shot in one hand. Michael Burns in the TV series, he plays Barnaby West. In 1960, he was 13 years old, and now he's 74 years old. Hey, uh, you gonna come and have supper with me again tonight? I think Rusty's out rustling something up. Every time he sees me picking up sticks for the fire, he knows it's time to start hunting. How about it, can you? My base is the abandoned space lab facility at Domingo Bay. Yes, I know the place. Good. Now, I think a demonstration of the energy ray's effectiveness would save us a lot of argument later on. Robert Fuller in the TV series, he plays Cooper Smith. In 1959, he was 26 years old, and now he's 89 years old. Well, you ain't helping me any. Wait a minute. No, I can't do anything with him around here. What if I take him back to the train, put him on ice for a little while till things simmer down? Just do a time step for me. So I went out and, you know, did something like that. And uh, he said, okay. And then he finally came back uh, at the end of it. And he said, look, he said, I've got all the people filled out. Morgan Woodward in the TV series, he plays Barney. He was 33 years old in 1958. And it was with great sadness that Woodward passed away on February 22nd. 2019 at his Hollywood Hills home in California, aged 93. Here's a nurse lady. She knows about them things. You hand him over. You're making a wise decision, Mr. Johnson. A decision that could save this train from an epidemic. 
Now, he said, now, you, I told you you really should go in to take lessons, but since we bought the plane, why don't you go to a regular teacher? Leonard P. Gear in the TV series, he plays Wagon Train member. In 1957, he was 43 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on January 9th, 1989, at the age of 74. I just wanted to see how my friends were doing. Well, Mr. Benedict, I don't want anybody around this wagon. Well, just be a minute. How about it? Well, all right. But give me your gun. Sure. He's a wonderful dog. A wonderful dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You look just like somebody I know. Yeah, you do. Orville Sherman in the TV series, he plays Arthur Falham. In 1958, he was 42 years old. And it was with great sadness that he passed away on October 1st, 1984, at the age of 68. Rooted out and destroyed. I demand that flag come down. There wouldn't have been any bloodshed if Lincoln had let us exercise our constitutional right to secede. Ward Bond in the TV series, he plays Major Seth Adams. In 1957, he was 54 years old. And it was with great sadness that he died in a hospital on November 5th, 1916, at the age of 57. What's the stop for? Well, Flint, I don't figure we ought to go any further without somebody out in front. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.